Hey everyone, I've got an MZ Wallace bag to show you today. This is the Small Tony, and I have it in the color Marcasite Bedford. It's a really, really pretty dark gray color. I don't think they have it anymore on their website, unfortunately, but um, it is still a really nice kind of seasonless uh, color that is great for, it's like a great neutral for pretty much matching with anything. So I was a really big fan of this color and that's what really drew me to this bag. I really liked the silhouette of the bag. If you are familiar with the MZ Wallace Nikki style, it is very, very similar to that style with a couple of distinct differences, um, but it's definitely kind of a more like east-west style bag as well as, um, yeah, it's just like a shorter, kind of more longer horizontal shape bag. And it does have three different strap carrying options, just like the Nikki, but uh, a couple of the straps are a little bit different and the compartments are slightly different as well. It has three different compart three different like main compartments, whereas the Nikki only has one. Um, and, uh, but other than that, it is very, very similar in shape and silhouette of the Nikki. And I, I do think I like this particular style better than the Nikki, just because of the features and how they're a little bit different and the straps. Um, but there, unfortunately, this is, uh, along with the Nikki, I guess, it is one of the MZ Wallace styles that I really wanted to love. Everything about this bag just seemed perfect for me. The features of the bag, the design of the bag, the shape of the bag, the look of the bag. I loved everything about it. I love the color of this bag. Um, but unfortunately, there was kind of one big design flaw that kind of killed it for me and I'm very very sad to say anything negative about MZ Wallace bags but this particular bag you'll see in a quick moment as to why um, it just doesn't really work for me so and that is I'll just point it out right now it is kind of the way that the bag hangs you'll see immediately that after picking it up this is just from the kind of tote straps the little grab handles of the bag you can see immediately that it starts to get kind of misshapen you'll see that the bag kind of slouches forward a little bit. So like the, the back of the bag caves inward toward the front and it kind of just has this droopy, like just really misshapen shape as it is hanging off of your shoulder. So that is probably the main reason that I cannot, um, that I'm just not a huge fan of this design of the bag. I love the look of it, love everything about it, but the shape of this bag and how it hangs on your shoulder or even if you're just grabbing it by the grab handles, I don't like how it's it just looks distorted to me. It looks misshapen and it becomes especially bad when you hold it by the longer shoulder strap, which is just this nice flat leather kind of belt buckle strap. So this is just designed to go over one shoulder, but it gets really, really bad and really, really misshapen when you hold it like this and also when you have it over your shoulder, this is what it's going to look like. And so this really bothered me about this bag. So it just, it ended up just sitting in my closet. It doesn't really get a lot of use because of this particular problem. So anyway, that's just something I wanted to point out about the bag. Um, two of the main ways of carrying this bag, you're just gonna have that slouchy shape. So if it doesn't bother you, then um, I think this bag would probably work out really well for you. But anyway, I'm just gonna open it up real quick and show you a couple of the items that I would typically carry in here. Um, just to also show you that even if the bag is packed up full, that it still has that slouchy, that slouchy bag problem. So, um, as you can see in the front of the bag, it just has one nice big pleated pocket and I really did like that about this bag. And um, just opens up with one zipper. One thing I will note about this particular bag, I don't know if it's unique to the one that I got or if it's the entire batch of bags, but the zippers are a little bit rough. Um, they're not as buttery smooth as some of their zippers have been in the past. So I was a little disappointed with their zippers this time around. So anyway, and um, another point about this particular color, the Marcasite Bedford nylon bag, these zippers, I don't know if you can see, it's probably pretty hard in this lighting of the camera, but um, the zipper itself is a different color than the bag itself. It's more of an army green color, and then the bag itself is like a gray. So that's just one thing to point out. It didn't show up on the website photos, so it was something that I was definitely not expecting. You can see the logos here on the top in leather with little grommet detailings. Just really, really nice, pretty, and gorgeous details on this bag here. The leather trim, the grommets, the rings, the hardware. Everything is just beautiful about this bag. I was just really bummed that the silhouette just didn't work. 
Um, but anyway, I'll open up the pocket for you. The lining is absolutely gorgeous. It's like this grayish purple color, just so, so pretty and a great complement to the gr outer gray color. Uh, so here's the pleated pocket. It's a nice size pocket and it has a little flap on the inside to kind of separate your, your things. So um, in here I just keep some quick grab items such as my keys as well as my cell phone, an iPhone 6s. Fits beautifully in here. Very, very nice big size pocket. You could definitely fit a lot more things such as a wallet, sunglasses, uh, checkbook, anything else that you want to grab for quickly can easily fit in this big pleated pocket here. But again, because of the kind of rough zipper, sometimes it's tough to open, especially with one hand, if like this bag is being slung over your shoulder and you want to access this pocket, it's kind of tough when this zipper is not very smooth. So that's just one thing I wanted to point out. So then immediately behind that, you have like one of the main compartments, which opens up with a magnetic snap here. And I will note that it is a very, very strong magnetic snap closure. You pretty much have to use quite a bit of force to force this thing open. So again, when this is slung over your shoulder and you want to access the contents of this compartment, it's kind of tough because you really have to use quite a bit of force with one hand or even two hands hands to um, open this. So that might be another kind of issue that I have with this bag. I really wish, I mean, it, it's good that these magnets are so strong because it's very secure, but at the same time, it's not very user-friendly if you have to use two hands to force this thing open. I don't know, maybe if they could have used a less stronger, strong of a magnet or even cover the magnets or something. I don't know, just it's a little strong and that's something that's kind of gets in the way sometimes. So Here's the first main compartment. It's very, very spacious. It's really great for just separating all of your things. So in here, I just keep like my work badge as well as my current wallet, which is a little Kate Spade card holder. That's all that I typically keep in the first pocket here. And there's no like extra pockets in here. It's just kind of one big compartment with that beautiful purple lining. And then the um, back compartment is exactly the same as the first one. It's just that strong, it's got that super strong magnet again. Yeah, you can tell it's, it's really, really, it's surprising how strong it is. So then in here, I just keep, um, it's like a checkbook and another card case or card holder that I just keep some gift cards and coupons in. So another big compartment, just like the first one. And then in the middle, is the zippered compartment. So it's just this long zipper here. And again, this particular zipper is not super, super smooth. It's a little rough. So here's the interior of this particular compartment. This is where all of the kind of six signature MZ Wallace pockets are. So it has like two slip pockets on the front, a long one on the back, um, a little Metro card or business card holder, which I actually do have some business cards in. Um, but in this main compartment, it has the market purse that matches the rest of the bag. So this is the same Marcasite Bedford nylon color. And then in here, I just keep a couple of personal items, oil blotting sheets, lotion, tissues, things like that. And that's all that I really keep in the main compartment of the center compartment. Um, and in here, it also has the little leash, key leash thing that attaches to the market purse. I'll usually stash my sunglasses in one of the slip pockets as well as my, this is my work phone, which is another iPhone 6S. So that's everything in the center. And then in the back pocket, the zippered pocket, I don't really have to keep anything in here just because there's so many other compartments to use for this bag. But it's, I guess, nice to have if you want something extra super secure in there. And it does, of course, have the hidden little bonus slip pockets in the back there as well. And these particular pockets are not as big as some of their other bags have been in the past. So for instance, like my iPhone 6S um, is too tall for that pocket. So usually in my iPhone 6S will fit in one of these kind of back slip pockets, but for this particular bag, since it's more of an east-west style, more a horizontal shape, uh, this phone is too tall for a pocket like that. So it's gonna have to accommodate smaller items, FYI. So that is it for the center compartment of the bag, all of the pockets. And then there's even, again, 
pretty rough. Then there is even a little pocket on the back that also has a zipper. And in here, I just keep the third strap. This is the adjustable crossbody messenger strap that just clips to the little D-ring on the side of the bag. I suppose you could put all three straps on, three different types of straps on if you really wanted to. I just find that that gets a little bit bulky and in the way for me, so I'll just kind of switch out straps as needed. Um, carrying this bag crossbody is all right. Uh, I don't know if it's something that I would do a lot. Maybe to cure the kind of drooping problem that this bag has, I could wear it crossbody a little bit more. Um, it doesn't it doesn't have as big of an issue with the drooping if you do wear it crossbody, so that's a plus, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this is this is what the bag will look like empty, slung over your shoulder with the strap. You can see just how distorted it is. It's not as bad again, like I said, wearing crossbody because you can get the bag to kind of curve to mold to the shape of your body and it'll just kind of look like this. So it's not too bad. So I'll just make a quick note of the straps. Um, these are really, really great kind of grab handles. It's a really good drop length to sling over your shoulder or put in the crook of your arm. Either one will work fine. I'm a big fan of these flat leather straps as opposed to the Nikki bag. Um, if you're familiar with that bag, these straps are much shorter. You cannot put them over your shoulder and they're also made out of rolled leather rather than flat leather. These particular straps are not removable, however, whereas the Nikki ones are. Uh, so that's just the kind of grab handles and then the longer shoulder strap. The one that I'm not a big fan of because of this particular problem is just another flat leather strap with a belt buckle adjustment. And then the third strap, of course, I already showed you is the crossbody strap. So really nice bag overall in terms of features. It was very, very attractive to me and that's why I really wanted to buy it online. I just had to have it. But I think the main problem with the silhouette of the bag, how it just slouches way too often, as well as the zippers being pretty rough and the magnets being kind of less user-friendly than I would like, um, it's overall a pretty disappointing bag for me. Um, I hopefully, hopefully they can, you know, in future editions of this bag, make those improvements so it's not as bad. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what they decide to do. But that is just my thoughts on the small Tony bag. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment below. And thank you very much for watching.